hi guys you're all welcome back to my youtube channel this is the villa house of information and entertainment i bring to you information and entertainment and to all those who are subscribed to this channel i want to welcome you all to the villa house and to those who have been watching without subscribing please 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 do not forget to subscribe subscription of course is free you just need to hit on the red you just need to hit on the red button yeah when you hit on that red button do not forget to also press the bell icon so that each time i upload a new video you're going to be the first yeah you're going to be the first king or queen to be notified so guys the reason why we are here today is because uh there is this story which um happened in dubai this guy who or uh, the story has been going around social media that he was poisoned by his friend but that's not really the case and that's why I'm here today to give you guys updates about what really happened. Yeah, but before I get into that, I want to do a shout out to Ayok Yvonne, uh, number 6419. And I also want to give a shout out to Dope Sierra. Yes, she has been sharing some of my videos and the videos that she has uh, shared. I have the highest views. So I want to give shout out to all those people. And to you on uh, number 6 for your comment that you dropped on one of my videos. I also checked it out and I really saw reasons with that comment. So I thank you so much. So guys, I also want to wish Mimi Mefo Takumbo a very happy birthday. Yeah, on Sunday was her birthday and she celebrated her birthday and she was even live on Facebook to celebrate with her fans and to thank them for their birthday wishes. Yeah, I'm celebrating Mimi because if there is that one TV personality in 237 or in Cameroon that I look up to, that I aspire to be like, it is Mimi Mefo. And that is why I choose to celebrate her this day. So Mimi Mefo, I wish you a happy birthday and may God continue to guide, protect you and bless you all the days of your life. In Jesus name, Amen. You are my role model. I look up to you and I love you so, so very much. So happy birthday, Mimi, in Arias, actually. So uh, for the reason why we are here today, uh, this uh, incident happened in Dubai with this uh, Nigerian guy. Yeah, he's from uh, Imo State in Nigeria, from Nigeria, and I got his name as Richard. Yeah, Richard is a Nigerian based in Dubai from Imo State. So Richard is based in Dubai and he is from Imo State, Nigeria. The video that went viral on social media was his birthday that was celebrated on the 29th and the 30th of March. Yes, that was his birthday that he celebrated with his friends. That's on the incident that happened like, uh, because you know, this is social media. The information that you send out there, that is what bloggers will carry about. Yes, and that's why when I saw the video, I also made a video to talk about the poisoning. Meanwhile, I have also done my investigations and I have discovered that it wasn't anything related to poison. Yeah, because if you also check on Linda Ikeji's blog, you will see she also posted about the poisoning issue. But now I have done my own investigations and I have found out that it wasn't really anything related to poisoning. So that's why I'm here to update you guys on this issue. So yeah, this guy, uh, his name is Richard and uh, he, he's based in Dubai actually. And then uh, he had been complaining to his best friend, the guy you saw in the viral video. He complained to him about his leg, that uh, he was having some pain in the leg. That was on Friday when they went to the gym. And on their way back home from the gym, they, it was like... Um, a riot team somewhere like the police were arresting people and people were running like uh in in uh, different directions and there was like it was like an atmosphere of total anarchy so when they now saw this he uh himself and his best friend they had to also run you know because sometimes when things happen you just run without even trying to find out what is actually going on so they ran and they they like okay they went home and then yeah after the police did what they had to do this guy now he was complaining of his leg he had been complaining of his leg to his friend because uh after after that he was rushed to the hospital and then uh, he was diagnosed of a kidney disease 
yes he was di diagnosed of a kidney disease and that's what actually killed him so the story on social media that he died of poisoning or that he was stabbed and all those things about whether his girlfriend did what or what not all those stories are not true yeah because at the end of this video i'm going to drop a voice note from his best friend the one we saw in the viral video i'm going to drop a voice note from his friend who narrates what actually happened so guys when this guy was complaining about his leg and then he was rushed to the hospital the doctors diagnosed him of a kidney disease and then the doctors also said that he has um kidney failure and that um his heart or his kidney was covered with blood yeah we, we we do not know people you just see people out there you don't know the health conditions or the health issues that people are facing people are actually going through a lot so guys that's what actually killed this guy like when he was rushed to the hospital and the diagnosis came and then it was really too late and then this guy couldn't survive it and he died of cardiac arrest that's according to the autopsy that was conducted so this guy was not killed by his friend he was not stabbed nothing like that ever happened to this guy we got his name as richard so we can say that richard just richard died like it was a sudden death because he never complained of any serious health issues apart from the fact that he told his friend that he had some pain in his leg so richard just died suddenly yeah he died suddenly because even the doctor's report and autopsy proved that he was sick yes some of us like many of us we go around social media you see people walking on the streets you do not know the challenges that people are facing people have health issues that is why if you can spread just a little love if you can just if you can just uh, show someone just an iota of love you don't know what you're going you're, you don't know what you've done to that person if you can just spread love out there you don't know the lives you're touching you don't know the impact you're creating because sometimes people go through very difficult situations that they cannot even handle it and they just keep going and you never know like that little smile that you, you can put on someone's face that actually means a lot to that person so guys i encourage us this day that no matter what we face or no matter what we go through we should always try to show love to the people we meet out there even if you know them or not you must not know someone before you you, you be nice to that person because even experience has shown that people you do not know or people you meet on the streets they can even help you more than some of our family members so guys i'm preaching love and i'm spreading love to all of us or to everyone everyone who is watching me right now spread love love it should be all about love even jesus talked about love he talked about love so please let's try to spread love out there and and all the hatred jealousy envy viciousness and all that so guys i'm going to drop uh, a voice note from the best friend of the diseased guy the guy in question that's richard his best friend actually dropped a voice note explaining what really happened so guys i'm just gonna let you listen to that some people say they stabbed him, some people say they beat him, some people, so many came to look at his body. He's not even looking like someone that they beat. He's not even looking that, like someone that they touched or something. Nothing like beat. He came, he, like someone that came out from the gym, he was very tired. He's okay. already saying that it's time. He came out, so some group of guys came out, said that they are doing something. I don't know what they said they are doing. We have to start running back. Okay. Nobody touched. You understand? Try to understand. Nobody touched him. Okay. This issue of Richard. Okay. Richard has been my. This has been to you. You understand? We don't be friends. We live together. You understand? So. Visible. He must 
Imo State, okay. So, uh, that's very the that birthday, that video that have been going viral, that video will be the go viral, you understand? The video now, birthday, his birthday on the 30th, 29th, 30th of March. March. Yes. Yeah, March. So, on the, on Friday, last week Friday, if I'm not mistaken, last week Friday, Richard went to gym. So, we are coming back from the gym, you understand? Although, when we are gymming, he said something like his leg is giving him issues, like his body system is not that normal. Okay. Like we should handle it. So we we're like trying to go home. So we saw a group of Igbo guys come and uh, Nigerian guys running towards us. We were like, there is problem happening there that we should go. So we have to turn back to take another direction. We have to run. So we ran home that Sunday. You understand? Do you hear me? Can you hear me very well? Yes, I can hear you. So it's like they were having problem with another nationality or something. Mm. So we were running on that and they went to home. So when you go to go to home after we took our bed and the rest, so he needs to go to hospital. He's not getting the stuff like his chest is burning him or something. Went to hospital. Like everything, like everything just started like a joke. Went to hospital. Out of the, they said that you check two tests on him, dialysis or something. You have to check his body system and the rest. So they checked. Hopefully, maybe he's having, they said that his, his kidney has failed. Kidney failure. Or something. Okay. Yeah. Well, kidney failure or something. So I was like, okay, what's the next step now? They should treat him or something. They should treat him. They, they proceed on the surgery that night. Even the next morning, they did another surgery, which is start today. Okay. So that is okay. That it's still better. It's responding to treatment. Mm -hmm. You understand? So uh, he was there throughout the Saturday and Sunday. He was responding. So all of a sudden, the doctor was telling me that uh, this uh, kidney was covered with blood and the rest. Yes. And so on the Monday morning. I was sleeping, I just, I just had a call, he said, Richard is died. I has died because of, Richard Carton died because of heart failure. So guys, thank you for watching my video. I really do appreciate. And please do not forget to subscribe. Of course, subscription is free. And do not forget to turn on the bell icon so that you're going to be getting more notifications each time I upload a new video. So thank you guys for watching. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.